Hi all, I am Karthik from Design School by WP Algorithm. In this video, I will show you how easy it is to set up a staging site for your WordPress website with WP Vivid Pro. You don't have to configure anything, you don't have to install additional plugins. All you need to have on your website is WP Vivid Pro. You can get WP Vivid Pro from the link in the description and here's how it works. You need to have both WP Vivid and WP Vivid Pro. WP Vivid Pro is actually an extension of the Pro version. So just click on WP Vivid dashboard entry. Click on staging sites and just click here. Or you can click on the first step in the dashboard menu. It will go back. So step one, you can also choose this. Even that will take you to the staging sites interface. As of now, I have a staging site setup. You can set up as many staging sites as you want. I'll just delete it just to show you how easy it is to create a staging site. Now the staging site is gone. I'll just click on create a staging site, give it a name, I'll say WP Awesome Stage. You can give any prefix that you want and you can leave the rest as is and make sure you have all the things checked here because we want to just create an exact snapshot of our website so that we can easily copy that to our actual website when we're done creating the staging website. So I'll just click on create staging and this is all automatic. It'll just create a staging site for you right within your website, quite easily accessible. I'll just wait for it to finish. Now it has finished creating my staging site and it says this is the URL that I need to click to access the staging site. So you can click here and it will take you to your staging site. The credentials are the same as your live site and this is how you log in. I'll just click here. It will take me to login. I'll just hit my credentials, log into it. Once you log into your staging site, there is an orange dashboard bar, admin bar, which clearly indicates that this is a staging site. As you can see on my live site, let's check out all the plugins that I have. You usually create staging sites to test various versions of your themes, plugins, how they perform with each other. And in case you're making or creating a child theme, you can also test that on your staging site. And testing that on staging site, make sure that before you move it to your actual site, everything works perfectly fine so that your business or your website is not interrupted. So that way your users will have a great experience and you can quite comfortably upgrade your website all while playing with different tools on WordPress repository. So here I have a few plugins. You can basically make any changes in your staging site and you can quite easily copy these changes to your live site. I'll click on plugins. I'll just update my WPV with backup plugin as it doesn't seem to be updated. Usually staging is also used to test various versions of plugins. I'll update this and I'll probably add few more add-ons. Now I'll visit my staging website. So this is how my header will look like or this is how my header is. I'll customize my header. I'll probably make some changes, add a new page, maybe add a couple of plugins and copy or move all the changes to the live site. So this is my header. Um, let's change the layout of my header. Play with different typography values. I'll pick a font for my entire website. I'll publish this. I'll go back, click on colors. I'll change text color to that. Let's come back and let's create a new page here. I'll go here, click on page. I'll use Gutenberg to create a new page. I'll call it new staging page. I'll add an image to this. I'll pick one from my media library. I'll publish this. Now the page is published. I can also preview it, how it would look like. So kind of neat. Let's also add a couple of plugins. I'll go to plugins, click on installed plugins. Some of the plugins from WordPress repository. Maybe I'll just install Yoast SEO. You can do basically anything on your staging site. You can even install WooCommerce and see how your store would perform or how your store would function with the current theme and you can then install any WooCommerce specific theme and test how your website would look like. So that's all the magic of having a staging website. So once you're comfortable, once you're confident that your website is stable, everything works really well, you can simply click a button to push all these changes to your actual site where your users will 
notice all the changes so everything will be changed so it's quite simple and seamless Yoast SEO is installed I'll activate this that's activated now I'll log out from my staging site I'll come back to my actual site go to WP Vivid click on staging sites and you can create multiple staging sites if you want to test multiple versions or multiple themes and multiple settings on your site you can do that you can create another staging site maybe test another theme or another set of plugins on another site I'll just migrate this to my live site I'll choose custom content so I'll pick everything that I have on the staging site so that I'll have a complete copy of the site rather than having database or uploads I'll just click on copy now and that's it it will finish copying the files and it will probably log me out from my site you can log in again and I'll have all the new changes let's wait and watch now everything is migrated you can view all pages I can, you can see the new page that we created we can simply view it and there's our staging page that we created on our staging site let's go to plugins on our live site so there's Yoast SEO that we just installed on our uh, staging site that's really neat and once you're done uh, installing or migrating all the staging sites click on staging sites and remove the ones that you don't really need so just hit the delete button and click ok and that's it that's how you set up staging site quite simple with WP Vivid Backup Pro that's it for now there's more content like this coming soon also check out WordPress tutorial for beginners playlist in which I make content for absolute WordPress beginners it's easy for you to watch the video and follow along get WP Vivid from the link in the description there's a special 20% bonus or 20% discount that my subscribers have anyway I'll talk to you in the next one peace